G'day and welcome to another video. In today's lesson we will learn how to make this really gorgeous cow. It is easy to do and has lots of different stitches in it and that's why I'm calling it the Stitch Sampler Cow. It's lovely and warm. We've got some ribbing, we've got some cross stitch, there's a new stitch in here. Let's see if we can go down. There's a new stitch in here in the darker yarn. So that's all exciting. I'm going to lay it flat on the ground so that you guys can see it laid out flat. But it's lovely and warm. I'm considering it's summer here right now. <laughs> I better take it off because I'm going to start to overheat. There is a free written pattern located on my website so I put the link that you need in the description box below. The yarn that we're using in this tutorial is from Red Heart. So I'd like to say a huge thank you to redheart.com for supplying the yarn for our project. If you'd like to know what yarn I've used here then I will put a link in the description box and you can go and check it out. So let's get started on the lesson. For our supplies we're going to need a yarn needle with a large eye, a pair of scissors, a stitch marker, this can be a locking stitch marker or just a scrap piece of yarn. We're going to need a crochet hook to go with your yarn. I am choosing to use a 4.5 or a size 7 crochet hook but you can use any crochet hook size that you want. I want my stitches a little bit snug. For the yarn we're using it recommends a 5.5. We will be using Red Heart with Love. This comes in a great range of colours so thank you to Red Heart for supplying the yarn for this project. If you want more yarn and great written patterns then check out redheart.com. You will need yarn in three colours. This one is called Bubblegum. It is a light, lighter pink. I have a darker pink and a yellow. The yellow is called daffodil and the darker pink is called hot pink. You won't need all of this yarn. This is a 200 gram ball around about 200 grams or 7 ounces and it's 370 yards or 338 meters. We're not going to need all that. I would suggest about you're going to need about half. You're going to use less than half, especially with your contrast colours. Obviously, you're going to use a lot more in your main colours. So, you're just going to need three partial balls of yarn. The same goes if you're going to use a eight ply or a double knit. This is a worsted weight yarn, and it is a about a ten ply. But I'm going to make this pattern so it can be used with double knit or double knit and eight ply, which is the same thing, and also a worsted weight yarn. This is the eight ply yarn that I've used, and let's just grab the worsted weight yarn. And you can see the difference in thicknesses there. The yellow is much thicker. This is an eight ply or a double knit, the grey, which is a common Australian yarn which is the thickness that we would use and this is the common weight that American or US well American and USA is the same thing American and that part of the world would use so there's definitely a difference it's almost twice as thick for the video tutorial I will be making a smaller version but it is exactly the same no matter how many chains you start with this is the 8 ply or double knit version and I started with 90 chains and I've grabbed my, this is some Red Heart Super Saver. This is a 10 ply or a worsted weight yarn. And I'm just going to grab the ends. And I have done 90 chains on this version, on my grey version, which is my 8 ply. And I've just made 90 chains for the worsted weight version. And I wanted to show you how much bigger it's going to turn out if we use the worsted weight yarn. So as you can see it's going to turn out around about two to three inches bigger. If you want to make it the same size as the grey one I would just recommend 
just taking off 10 chains. The multiple for this pattern is 2. So this blue chain is the same amount as the grey, so that's 90 and 90. But if you want your worsted weight version to turn out the same size as this grey one, I would suggest using 80 chains. Basically, if you can fit this chain around your head, it's going to fit you. Because don't forget, if you don't use very many chains, let's say you used 50, you've got to make sure it actually goes around your head too. So just bear that in mind, otherwise you won't be able to use it. Okay, so yeah, so you can basically use as many chains as you want in multiples of two. But for the grey version, I use 90. And for a worsted weight version, I would, I would use 80. I am going to be using worsted weight in this video tutorial, but I'm actually going to make a smaller one. So I have 40 chains. And then we're going to join this to make a, to make a circle. So you're going to make sure all the chains are facing you. So all the V's, you can see all the V's there. You want all of those facing you. And then you're just going to turn this up like that. So you're just rotating it. And then you're going to join your yarn. And then you're just going to have one more look just to make sure that you have joined it. So when you look at it, all the chains are going to be facing in the same direction and there's no twisting. The first round of this pattern is a just a double crochet round, so it's really easy. So you can chain two, you could chain three, or you could do an alternative double crochet. We're going to go into the next chain and we're going to work a double crochet and we're going to do this all the way around. When we get to the end of the round, we want to make sure we have an even number of stitches. So that can be a number that can be divided by two. So basically, because our multiple was two, so we want to make sure our stitches are still two, otherwise our pattern won't work. Alrighty, so double crochet in every stitch around and I'll meet you when we're ready to join. You want to double check your stitches. I've got 40, I've just counted. And you want to make sure that it's not twisted and then we can join. If for some reason yours is twisted, you can just untwist it now and then join. You will get a little twist down here, but you're probably not going to see that once we sew in all our ends and everything. So. Instead of ripping that row out, if it doesn't worry you that that's just a slight twist there, once it's joined together like that, it's just going to be a little twist in there and you probably won't notice it at all. So we're going to join to the top of the chain or the very first stitch that you did, depending if you did an alternative double crochet. And we're going to pull tight with a slip stitch. This pattern is worked in the round, but at the end of each round we turn our work. So normally you would just continue around all on the same side. This pattern we don't. So we turn it around. So now we're going to be looking at the back of our work and we're going to grab our stitch marker. Sorry, just before we turn that, I'm backtracking it slightly. Just before we, oh I'm all matchy matchy aren't I today? I've got pink. Pink and pink. So the row that we just did, before we turn it, we're going to grab our stitch marker and place it anywhere on that first row. I've just placed it around a stitch there and this is going to mark the right side of our work and this will become important when we come up to the half double crochet round and it's going to remind us where the right side of our work is. You're probably thinking why does that matter on half double crochet but you'll see we do this pretty stitch and we need to know what side we're working on. Oh and also too if you decide to add so the first part of our pattern is ribbing I'm just going to grab my other sample. The first part of our pattern is ribbing and then some double crochet. See this dark row? That's the half double crochet row. And if you decide to change the amount of rows in the double crochet and then all the ribbing here, then you're going to have to make sure that this half double crochet row is worked 
on the wrong side so when we start this dark row this half double crochet row we're going to be on the wrong side of our work okay so if you do one round less or more you're going to be throwing the pattern off so it's really easy to do you're just going to have to make sure when you start this grey row you're on the wrong side of your work because the back of the half double crochet stitch is actually the pretty side would you believe and if we do it the wrong way we're not going to get the pretty part on the outside of our cow so we're going to turn our work we're looking at the back and we're going to do a chain two you don't need to do a chain three there because we're going to do front post and back post double crochet into the stitch below we're going to work a front post double crochet the chain two does not count as a stitch so we're just pretending that's not even there I'm going to go down around the stitch below and we're going to do a front post double crochet if you don't know how to do these and you need a bit more in-depth video then there are plenty on YouTube into the next stitch we're going to do a back post double crochet so our crochet hook goes around the back of our work around the front of the stitch in the other side and then work a back post double crochet the next one is going to be a front post and we're going to alternate this all the way around doing front post and back post so we just did a front post and it's called front because it works around the front of the stitch and then the back post goes around the back with our crochet hook so around the back and then the next one is around the front and then the next one is around the back and we're going to repeat this all the way around and we should end on a back post double crochet because the next or the first stitch there is a front post and that way it will just continue to alternate all the way around so keep going and I'll meet you when we're ready to join so we've ended on a back post double crochet and we're going to join to the very first stitch and the chain two um, it doesn't it doesn't count as a stitch it was just to get us in the right spot so we're going to turn our work around so now we're looking at the right side of our work because you don't need to flip it every time we do it it is easy just to not worry about it you can if you want but you don't need to and we're going to do a chain two and what we want to do remember how there was a chain two in the previous round we want to trap that so that it kind of disappears into our work so our first stitch looking at our work you can see this is the first stitch here it's at the back because this one's at the front so we want to work a back post double crochet and we want to capture the chain two there and the post stitch sorry guys I've forgotten what I've done <laughs> and back post I was halfway through the stitch and thought what am I doing okay and then if you look we turn this around you can see that the chain two has been trapped in there and it just disappears and that's what we're trying to do we're trying to hide it so our next stitch is a front post because you can see that it's sticking out to the front so in the pattern we have two rounds of front post and back post double crochet the very first round is just a plain double crochet so after this one we're ready to start the next part of the pattern and like I said if you want to change it up and add more or less you're just going to have to remember that when we start our half double crochet round which is in I think about round 13 ish I can't remember I haven't got the pattern next to me uh, that's when we're going to start it and it needs to be on the wrong side so 
you can change it up however you like but just remember that part so pause the video and i'll see when we're ready to join we've finished on a front post because the next stitch is a back post and we're going to join to the top of the back post double crochet with a slip stitch we're going to turn our work around and now we are up to the double crochet round we're going to do a chain two oops that was really loose I'm going to do a chain two and then in each stitch around we're going to work a double crochet so this one's really easy there's nothing hard about this pattern it's just when we put all the stitches together it creates this really cool texture so it's just one double crochet my yarn is getting stuck in each stitch around so keep going and Pause the video and I'll meet you when we're ready to join. When we get around we're going to join to the top of the first stitch and also what I've been doing is every couple of rounds I'm just making sure I've still got my initial number of chains I started with or stitches so I started with 40 chains on this project so I'm making sure I've got those 40 stitches. So turn your work around and we're going to repeat the last round which is double crochet round so chain two double crochet in every stitch around and then join and then turn your work you will need to work six rounds of double crochet and then that will bring us to the wrong side of the work so we've done our amount of rows and we've got one, two, three, four, five, six rows of double crochet. And at the moment we're on the outside, we're on the right side of our work. We've just finished that row, so we're going to go to the inside of our work. And now we're going to start the half double crochet row. I'm actually going to leave this pink yarn attached. You can cut yours off and finish off if you like, or you can leave it attached. You're going to get colour B, so the pink that we just used was colour A and it's the lightest of the colours that we have and we're going to use colour B and we're going to join this into our work. Just trying to find where to join it. Leave a little tail at the back. And we're going to do a chain one to secure and then just pull the short yarn at the back so do another chain one and we're going to work a half double crochet in the same stitch so yarn over go into the stitch yarn over pull up a loop and yarn over pull through two now we're going to do a half double crochet around that same stitch. So yarn over and push your crochet hook to the right hand side and around the back and grab your yarn and complete your stitch. You may need to just sort of hold on to this bit because it does slip around slightly on when we're working our first stitch. We're going to skip a stitch and work a half double crochet in the next one. So skip stitch in the next one work a half double crochet. Around the half crochet, half double crochet we just did, we're going to do a half double crochet. So yarn over and go around this stitch going from the right hand side around the back and then pull up and do your half double crochet. And we're going to repeat this around. We're going to skip a stitch and half double crochet in the next. And then we're going to half double crochet around the one we just did. So going to the right around the back and then working a half double crochet skip a stitch half double crochet in the next you may be able to hear little kids voices <laughs> they're outside and then we're going to half double crochet around the one that we just did skip a stitch and then half double crochet in the next 
half double crochet around the one that we just did and we're going to repeat this all the way around so pause the video and I'll meet you when we are ready to join and don't forget that at the moment I'll just turn this the other way we are working on the wrong side of our work because the right side there's our stitch marker on the right side so you're working on the wrong side of your work when we get to the end we're going to skip a stitch and join to the very first half double crochet so we're going to find that just trying to get two loops there we go and then join that now I've actually decided to cut my first yarn because when I went to film the next part it was just a mess and you couldn't see what I was doing so I am just going to just cut and then just sew my ends because you've also got to be careful when you carry up the yarn that you're carrying up the yarn only on the inside of the work otherwise on the outside you're going to see it and I just found that it just was not working so we've finished that round and I'm going to cut my yarn this is more ends to sew in but it I was literally just you know getting myself in knots so we're going to finish off that color we're going to turn our work so now we're working on the right side see our little stitch marker down there we're on the right side ignore those ends there we're going to join our yarn and we want to join in colour A again, which is our light colour of our two that we've got. And this round is just a double crochet round. So we know how to do that. That's easy. So I chained three, but then I just pull that so that very first chain disappears. Then I sew that in later. So let's flip that to the back. I'm just going to flip these out of the way so that it just doesn't confuse you. And after we've done our chain, we want to work a double crochet in each stitch around. And at the end of this round, I whoops, what's that bit? At the end of this round, I would recommend counting your stitches to make sure you have the same amount of stitches that you need so it's just a double crochet in each stitch around and this yarn is not behaving itself here we go so double crochet in each stitch around pause the video and I'll meet you when we are ready to join we are going to join to the top of the chain two with a, ooh, with a slip stitch why am I finding that so hard I think I've got my slip uh, my chain stitch too tight there we go we're going to turn our work and now it's another round of the half double crochet and we're going to cut our yarn well I am you don't need to if you don't want to and we're going to grab our dark pink again which is color B or the darker of the two colors that you've got and we're going to join our yarn and we're going to work our half double crochet round and this needs to be worked on the wrong side so you'll see that here's my stitch marker but I'm actually working on this side so this is the inside so I'm going to chain one actually I'm going to chain two and the first chain just secures that down in there I'm going to half double crochet in the same stitch I'm going to half double crochet around the half double crochet you can see there if you don't hang on to it it just all kind of just vomits <laughs> so let's try that again 
it's just this first one that seems to do it so yarn over go around the back I'm holding it or was I'll just let go I'm gonna hold these stitches on here so I'm gonna go around and I'm still holding it with this finger I'm not letting go this time pull it around and then pull through all three skip a stitch half double crochet in the next one and then half double crochet around the half double crochet that we just did skip a stitch half double crochet in the next one and half double crochet around the one that we just did and we're going to repeat this around so pause the video and I'll meet you when we are ready to join we're going to skip our last stitch and then we're going to join to the first half double crochet we can finish that off and now we're going to work rounds of double crochet this dark round here the dark gray is where I just did my half double crochet round and then there's one two three four five rounds in our lighter color and then you're switching to dark back to light back to dark and then two rounds of light I'm not going to show you how to do that because it's all double crochet and if you need to refer to what color to change you can look at the ribbon pattern it's all in there it's not hard to read it just says change to color A change to color B one of my hairs is stuck to that and then we're going to start on this gorgeous cross stitch round so yeah we've just done the dark gray round so it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten rounds of double crochet so pause the video and I'll meet you and in the next part of the video I'm going to show you how to do the cross stitch round so I finished all my rows I have one two three four five of the light pink color A one of color B one of color A one of color B and two of color A so all together one two three four five six seven eight nine ten rounds so it is now time to start the the camera just moved then <laughs> it's now time to start the cross stitch so I'm going to finish off this color because it's finally time to use I'm going to find my scissors to use our contrast color how exciting so let me know what colors you're using in the comment section I'd love to know have you gone with the two sort of same colors like pinks or grays or whatever and then using a contrast or are you completely using all different colors I would love to see make sure you share them on Facebook or tag me on Instagram that would be awesome if you could do that so I've just finished off that side so I'm going to join my color on this side and that will be the right side of the work let's grab our oh this yellow is so bright it's beautiful so I'm going to pull that through and this one we want to chain so I've already done one chain there the first one was to secure the yarn we want to chain three now normally I'd chain two with a double crochet but this one we're doing a cross stitch so I'm going to just chain three I think the chain two might be a bit too short so we're going to work the first round of cross stitch so if you've never done this before it's a bit of an odd stitch but once you get going it's quite easy so our cross stitches one has to go here and then the next one has to go back so we need to work into the stitch before the chain so we're going to double crochet into the stitch before the chain and it makes a cross stitch we're going to skip we're going to come back over this side and we're going to skip a stitch so we're going to skip this one because we just worked into there so we can skip that and double crochet into the next stitch 
and into the one that we just skipped we're going to work a double crochet so in the skipped one work a double crochet see how they're starting to cross over so skip a stitch in the next one double crochet and into the skipped one work a double crochet so that second part you're working across and going backwards so skip a stitch into the next one work a double crochet into the skip stitch work a double crochet and we're going to repeat this all the way around now I'm so pause the video and we're going to meet when we are ready to join so when we come back around we're going to join to the top of the chain three so you might just need to pull the stitches apart there just so you can just decide which one's which so top of the chain three I'm going to work a slip stitch and we're going to turn our work around We're going to chain three and then we're going to work a double crochet into the previous stitch. We're going to skip a stitch and then go into the next one with a double crochet. So we're just repeating what we did before and then we're going to double crochet into the skipped stitch. That's just a bit loose there, let me just fix that. Okay, so we're going to repeat it around. Skip a stitch, double crochet in the next. Sorry, my yarn's getting stuck. And then into the skip stitch, we're going to work a double crochet. Again, repeat this around and then join when we come to the top of the chain three. And we're going to repeat this, so we'll go back to my sample. We've got one, two, three, four, five rounds. And we're going to repeat this for five rounds. So pause the video and I'll meet you when we have our five rounds done. I've completed one, two, three, four, five rounds of the cross stitch. And I'm going to finish off my colour C, which is the yellow. And I'm going to turn my work around, so I'm going to be working on this side now. I'm going to grab colour A, which is the lightest of the colours that you've got. And we are going to work a double crochet round. We can start this anywhere we like, so I'm just going to start it in the stitch before. But you can start it in that one there. But I'm just going to start here. Okay, so for the double crochet round, we've done this before. We're going to chain, did we chain two or three? I can't remember now. I think it was two. And we are going to double crochet in every stitch around. And if we've got some ends we can work over, then we can crochet over those as well. Or you can sew them in at the end, it's up to you. Whatever you prefer. So we're just working a double crochet in each stitch around and I'll meet you when we are ready to join. So we're going to join into the top of our chain. We're going to turn our work. And now what we're going to do is work a chain two and we're going to do a front post double crochet around that same stitch. This doesn't count as a stitch. You could probably even just chain one if you wanted to. And we're going to work a front post around the chain three from the beginning of the previous row. Previous round. We're going to do a back post double crochet around the next. And a front post double crochet 
and we're going to alternate between this so if, uh, it was basically what we did on round two so we've just done a front so we now we need to do a back and then the next one's a front so we are repeating row two of our pattern work your way around and I will meet when we are at the end of this round and we're going to join and yeah I'll see you there. So you will finish on a back post double crochet and then to the very first double crochet there which is a front post we are going to join once I figure out where <laughs> there we go top of the double crochet there And then we're going to turn our work around so I'm going to spin this and chain chain you can chain two if you like you really probably only need to chain one but I'm going to chain two and so now we are going to continue with the pattern so if we have a look here that's a front post because you'll see it's pointing out to the front it was actually a back post that we did but because we've turned over it's now become a front post so then we know that the one before that should be a back post and we're going to do a back post double crochet so around the back the first one's a little bit tricky And then we're going to do a front post because it's sticking towards us. And then a back post. And then a front one. And you get the drift. So we're going to just going to alternate again from front to back. And you're just going to look at what you've got. So you'll see it's pointing to the front. It's all raised at the front here. So there it's a front post. And if it's sticking to the back, it's a back post double crochet. You're going to do this round and then complete another one so that we have three of these all together and then we're going to join and finish off and then we're going to sew in our ends and, that and I want to say a huge thank you for joining me for this video tutorial please share your creation on Facebook please subscribe you can hit the subscribe button that's on your screen now also if you would like to see more video tutorials then click on my username and that will take you straight to my channel I'd like to say a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters and without them it would not be possible to, to bring you more video tutorials. If you would like to join us on Patreon then click on the link in the description box and that will take you to my Patreon page. We have lots of giveaways coming up and also some behind the scene photos and early bird link tutorials. And early bird links that go to tutorials. And you get to see them before anybody else. Follow me on Instagram to keep up to date with what's going on or over on Facebook. We also have a Ravelry group. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Happy crochet. The yarn that we're using in this video tutorial is from Red Heart. And I will put the...